feeling better, Tiona? Better, Mark. I swear it, Mark. I didn't imagine it. Wes? I think we'll make it, Mark. I'm beginning to get energy traces across the inductors. How much longer? We might be ready by tonight. Good. We're making a little tour of inspection. Carter says he saw something down in the valley, something shiny. Let's go take a look. Mark, come here. Look down there. That's what I saw shining. Finally, something tangible. That doesn't disappear when I look straight at it. like it's been here for a long time. Look how pitted and scarred the hull is. Doesn't look like any ship I've ever seen. You think it belongs to the Orions? I doubt it. I doubt if the Orions ever built any spaceships. If they <gasps> had, we would have... Look, Mark. It's three times the size of us. And judging by the deterioration of the calcium, it must have been here a long time. Probably belonged to an ancient civilization. Carter, you stay here. Keep your eyes and ears open. Right. Sonny and I will take a look around inside this thing. Oh, uh, if he moves, just call out. Right.
on you? What is it? Oh, I, I got a shock. Ow. Touching that. Ouch! That must be over 200 volts. I wonder what they used it for. Possibly it's an electric torch. They held it in their hands and it became luminous. Beings as big as they seem to have been could have held it without feeling any kind of shock. Found. What is it? Looks like a tuning fork. Why didn't we think of that before? Of what? A locking device. It could be a sonic one. A lock designed to open only to a certain sound, to a certain frequency only. out through this vent. We've got to find a way to get out of here. If only we could find the secret of that lock. Carter! Carter, what? 